Hey guys, it's Crypto Llama here. And before I get into this video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for everyone for the support of my channel. I appreciate you all. And I'm stoked to be a part of this play to earn journey with you. We are nearly over the 2K sub hurdle. So if you enjoy my content, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel so that I can reach that goal. As a thank you, stick around until the end of this video for the Easter egg that follows. With that said, today we're gonna to talk about maximizing your returns with the new reward system. I'm not going to be going into detail about the exact changes to the new reward system in this video. I'll leave the official post in the video description below so you can check that out at your own pace. Instead, I wanted to focus on how you can extract the most rewards per season. So although these changes will allow the amount and value of rewards earned through daily and season loot chests to be significantly increased across all leagues, it's important to understand exactly how these rewards are calculated to make sure we can extract the most from this change efficiently. The formula that determines the amount of rewards and also the significance of your rewards earned is called R shares. This formula takes into account your current league rating cubed, your energy capture rate or ACR, whether you're using gold foil or older edition cards in battle, whether you're using starter cards, your win streaks, as well as the benefits from the guild quest lodge. The reward shares or R shares earned from every ranked battle win during a season using this criteria will contribute to a player's reward points for that season. With the change to the reward system, a maximum number of 150 loot chests can be earned for each season rewards. And players in any league from bronze to champion have the opportunity to earn this number of chests in this update. However, it's important to note that the type of loot chests each player will earn in the current season is actually based on the highest league achieved in the previous season. As an example, if a player reached Diamond League at any point during the previous season, then in the current new season, they will earn Diamond loot chests no matter what league they are currently playing in. This is where the saying, cut your coat according to your cloth reigns true. Because playing in a league which allows battles to be consistently won is going to be the key determining factor from a reward standpoint as higher league levels require a higher amount of R shares. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, should I be advancing into the next league? To help you understand this, let's do a quick example using the average R shares per win table, as well as an extreme example. So let's imagine that we're in gold one. So the amount of rewards is calculated off your maximum league rating, which means that if you're in gold one, your rating will be capped at 2,800, even if your rating in the game is above that and with each win you obtain, considering all things are equal, we'll be receiving 12,977 R shares. So let's say it's the last few days of the season, we're in gold one and we've pushed our rating up to 3,400, successfully making it into the gold league leaderboards. We know that a rating of 3,400 is enough to advance into diamond one. So maybe it's time to rent out some cards, advance into diamond league, because we know that Diamond has the chance to receive better loot in the chests. Before we even think about doing this though, is this going to be the right play? Not necessarily. And actually in this example, we're gonna be experiencing diminishing returns. If we advance into Diamond League where we cannot compete comfortably in the following season, our reward chest will now require Diamond League R share points to unlock. So here, instead of requiring 18,000 R shares for one chest in Gold League, we now require 43,000 R shares for a single chest because of our R shares are now calculated at the Diamond League level. Again, with everything equal, whilst also continuing to play in Gold League in the following season, we're going to be needing 3.31 extra wins per loot chest unlocked. Not only is this going to have a huge effect on our ECR, but furthermore, let's say that we wanted to try and get 100 chests in the following season. Now that we've got Diamond League level R shares, we're going to be needing over 400 extra wins to get these 100 chests if we continue to play in Gold League. Most players would be lucky to even play that amount of games in one season, let alone win them all. Consequently, moving into Diamond League in the previous season has now substantially minimized the amount of chests we can obtain in the current season. And regardless of the possibility of a reward increase in Diamond League chests, we have increased the amount of wins needed to receive those chests and thus decreased our overall opportunity for more rewards. So guys, it's going to be important to cut your coat according to your cloth 
in the latest update that's hitting the Splinterverse on the 31st of May. I wanted to keep this video short as I've had a number of people asking me about this and struggling to understand what this new reward system may look like for you as a player. So I hope this has cleared things up for you a little. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, as a thank you to my subs, I'm giving away 10 vouchers to celebrate my 2K sub goal. So make sure you enter that with the Twitter link in the video description below. If we sell up to tranche two before the nodes are actually implemented later this year, that's $50 worth of vouchers right there. So that's it for me for now, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. Jump into my community Discord in the video description below as well and be a part of the discussion and the giveaways. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.